What's happening guys, J.R. Raymond back again coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes where today we're going to take that original obsession, the big strong obsession. Now I've heard a lot of people say how super strong this ball was which is why I went the direction that I went with the layout. Uh, I went with a two and a quarter inch pen and I wanted this ball for fresh conditions. I want it to be in my tournament bag um, and so it's not going to be a review that you're expecting. I know you're expecting to say, oh my gosh, this ball hooks a million. You're not going to see this ball hook a million on this because of the way I laid it out. But you're going to see the, the, the versatility that this ball can have because I'm putting a layout on it to make it smooth the pattern out. So you're going to see that this ball, even though I'm not putting this big strong layout on it, it's going to go through the pins really well. So uh, you're going to see it look really good further right, and it's going to be a little iffy when you move in because it's not meant to play the for deeper part of the lane. And I don't know that I would necessarily be using a huge strong bowling ball like this anyway if I'm playing super far in. Um, so a layout like this and seeing it on this, not going to hurt you. So we're going to take it out here on a 40-foot pattern and uh, see what she's got. So stay tuned. going to take a look at the original obsession now. Now, some people are going to be mad because I didn't put a normal layout on this, mostly because I'm using it for my bag, for my arsenal, but I put a two and a quarter inch pin on it, so it's not going to hook like you think. And the mass bias is, you know, right next to my track, so a little bit opposite from what uh, you want to see on this, you know, you want to see a longer pin. You want to see, you know, a little bit more down lane reaction, but you're not going to see down lane reaction. You're going to see smooth and good ball reaction for fresh condition on tougher patterns. Oh, that was way left. Well, we were trying to go that 8, 9, 10 range and didn't quite make it happen. But you can see the smoothness of it, so that's good. So now, let's try and throw one a little better because that was awful. <laughs> That's better. Watch it roll. And it just rolls off the dry. It doesn't, you know, like, like that Zenith Pearl, you saw it pop off of it immediately and go left. This hits it and smooths it out and rolls off of it. So we can get it to blend all that friction out. So that's the idea behind this ball for me, is it was meant for flatter conditions where you kind of have to smooth your ball reaction out. But you still need a strong cover like this. So you have it. So we're gonna try to move a little bit left. Comes off it nice. Go that way, buddy. We gotta wait, I'm almost done. Alright, so now we'll keep going left. I mean, I love the way, the, that's why I do some of these shorter pins like this. This ain't super short. This is kind of like in that no-fly zone for, for Mo, but I obviously, <laughs> I obviously go against that because I've always had, I've had a lot of success with two and a quarter, two and a half inch pins um, because they do. They still kind of give me a little bit of, you know, strength down lane. They're just not crazy. <sighs> They're not like a one inch pin where I get zero reaction down lane, but it smooths the entire lane out. So... Now, you're, as I go left, you're going to see some struggle. I'm just going to jump on the struggle bust getting through the pins here. Uh, or I'm just going to dead yank it left and get five. Ooh, but we get to make a spare. Let's make a spare. I like making these types of spares. It's fun. At least trying to make them anyway. All right. Come on, spare shooter. Oh, 
one didn't pick up. I thought it was going to pick up a little bit. Oh, it didn't get there. But that's okay. All right, let's keep moving left and try to... Actually, I need to stay in that same spot and throw one good. Because that was awful. Just jump on the struggle bus, just like I said. Throw this a little bit to the right. Will that hook? Yeah, I mean, you can see how much it's blending that back part of the lane out, which is good. Or I should say it's blending the entire part of the lane out, or the entire lane, because of the shorter pin. I like it. It does exactly what I was expecting out of it. <laughs> I know, not a review you guys want to see, because you want to see this thing boomerang, but we're in a high friction zone anyway, center. So you're not going to see this ball boomerang no matter what. Get way around it, throw it right. <laughs> That's just, you have no chance of doing that. This, is, this ball is gonna force me to play further right the entire time, which is okay. But it's fun to try to get it to strike, but because you're laying the core in a uneasy position, it struggles to give you any energy on top of a super strong cover that's trying to read from the beginning. All right, I'm gonna really circle this one. <laughs> nope. It, it reads it and it just kind of delays and bails the rest of the way. So this isn't a reaction video that's gonna tell you, you know, necessarily if this ball is gonna be a hook monster for you because of how I laid it out. But it's kind of cool to show you a good layout for <laughs> the tougher conditions. So let's go back right where it looks good. Let's go back to where we know it'll strike. Watch it look good. Smooth the entire part of the, the entire lane out. And it'd be good to go. I mean, even straighter. I mean, this, so this is gonna be a good short pattern ball. Good flat pattern ball. Um, or just a bailout ball when you're struggling and you don't know what to do and you just want to tighten your angles up, keep it in front of you, this is where you want to go. It's just like that all day long. That's what we're looking for. So like people that are going out to USBCs, this would be perfect for you. I know a lot of people are always looking for those big, strong bowling balls, and then you want to put a layout on it that's smooth and controls how crazy the lanes can get out there, because we know how hard they get. This is what you want to do. This is that two and a half, two and a quarter inch pen. I'll tell you, it's, the layout should be on the screen, hopefully. So I'll see if I can go even straighter with it. It should blend, should blend the six, seven, eight area out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty sweet. Just rolls right off of it a little bit too much, but that's okay. Now what I tell you, I told you this thing was gonna look really good playing straighter and it's not gonna look the greatest playing further in, but it definitely was able to uh, get through the pins when I was able to create those straighter angles. So uh, it's gonna be a great fresh ball. It's gonna be great for playing straighter to start on pretty much any pattern, even in league, I think you're gonna be doing really well with this ball playing straighter. Um, I'm curious to see what this ball would do with a much stronger layout or with a much longer pin, uh, a little bit more standard pin to where you see it kind of hook the corner. I think it may pick up a little bit too soon and be a little too hook stoppy, but you never know. Uh, maybe I'll try it a little bit later. Maybe we'll drill another one. Who knows? Let me see what we got. Um, but that's all I got for you today. Make sure to get yours over at BowlerX.com. Uh, link's in the description or come over here, see me or Greg over at BowlerX Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes in Waterford, Michigan, uh, and we'll get you taken care of. But until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.